I'm talking about yet. <clears throat> Peace, family. I guess I'll label and title this video when I'm done. Sometimes you can't put labels and titles on things. Sometimes you just have to let things be. So there ain't no title, there ain't no label on this video, because I don't really have a title or a label. I'm trying to just let things be. It's a deep thing. So, I just got off a live. I was live for like three hours. I ain't never been live that long in my life. But, um, I'll check. Uh, I haven't really been in my inbox just yet. I kind of did a three-hour live with Leticia, a.k.a. a share of Star Goddess. And we were building on um, a couple things. It was interesting because I see a couple of people who uh, used to support me kind of ch chiming in on her page, trying to throw me off and put me in low vibes. <clears throat> It's interesting when someone tried to proclaim me not knowing something. I'll be like, how how you gonna tell me what I know? <laughs> you can only tell me about you. So you kind of telling me you don't know nothing. But I ain't really getting into that. It's not what this video is about. This video is about um a level of concern that I have for the life. Cause it's kind of like I get bashed by the black community because I don't want to hate white people. And it's just like, why would I want to enable a level of hate when all I've known in life was hate? I'm a fucking black man from Connecticut. Like, there can't be no more hate <laughs> than what I've encountered from white folks. But I'm trying to figure out how is that supposed to move me forward if I'm still staying in the same polarity of hate? I'm trying to grasp, it's, you know, it's confusing. That I kind of get uh, shunned by my own people. Sounds like the Christ story to me. That even my own people kind of place judgment on its own. Just because he don't want to think like you think. Are you being a ruler over me? Trying to rule me? Is that how that works? So are you just being mad because I won't submit to you? That because you as a culture, as a people... Want to be dominant and seen as a dominant force. Yet, I won't give you that domination. It's a deep thing. Try to explain to people, white folks can't know slavery if they haven't inherited it, if they haven't experienced it, if they didn't live that life. You can't know a thing if you don't know a thing. How the fuck did they learn how to enslave people if they never been enslaved? How you gonna know how to murder a person if, you know, never dealt with murder before? See, you know how to murder people. Y'all got television. Y'all got music. It tells you how to kill things off every fucking second. It's a deep thing. But I'm in traffic. So I was like, you know what? Instead of me listening to Lil Uzivert, <laughs> it's like I'm going to just go live. Well, we're not going to sit here and uh, bash races. Because, see, I can speak on my race because it's my race. But I also have white in me. My mother's, uh, I mean, I did my DNA test. You can consider that real or not. I mean, I look in the fucking mirror every day and see I'm not all black. And I look in the mirror every day and see I'm not all white. It's a deep thing. So, uh, I kind of connect to both sides. And most of you do. Most of you do. Do y'all even know the original color of the original indigenous people on this planet? No. See, I broke down in the movie. I said, you're only based on your environment. If you live on land, guess what? You get a lot of sun. You live in the sky, you get a lot of carbon. You get a, live in the water, you kind of get a lot of hydrogen. And these things kind of change you. Make your physical makeup. The reason why the Lumerian tribe or the indigenous tribe gets talked about so much is because they're being sacrificed till this day. Sacrifice gets honored. That's how uh, life gets sprung up. Through sacrifice Then y'all honored that which was sacrificed It's not your food It was sacrificed for you And you kind of honoring it by eating it Steep I'm enjoying my day though I hope y'all enjoying y'all day Kind of takes a lot to throw me off <clears throat> I 
it's interesting you speak on the Irish because uh, I've been speaking about Irish mythology. Celtic mythology. I just got done watching your live. Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, A... I'm not really like being, uh, I'm not really used to like silencing myself and letting someone else talk. So it was a good experience for me to kind of allow someone else to intervene. And if I was going to let anyone do it, it was going to be a female. Two men talking, it kind of becomes a, a battle of wills, a battle of egos. And I mean, it's, it's hard not to have that, you know. We represent the same polarity. Kind of like two swords. <laughs> Two swords kind of don't have no purpose if they're not <laughs> clashing each other. Hope all is good your way. Always. I uh, I posted it on my uh, wall just now, part one and part two. It'll be placed on my YouTube channel a little bit later today. But I think it was a good build. She's a very wise lady. Woman. Female. She unfortunately has a few low vibrating beings on her page, but that happens. Sometimes you guys got to be picked up at your down points. So sad, though, to uh, make someone be down with you because you down. And it's so obvious in the life. You either build someone up or you break them down. It's very simple. <laughs> you either build someone up or you break them down. You could just view on people's responses, just how they act in the life. Are they building someone or are they breaking them down? You know, I appreciate your time. I, I appreciate your wisdom, King. I might not agree with it. I might not apply all that you say. But I appreciate the time that you deliver it. That's kind of like building someone up. You could break someone down, though, but, you know, you don't know shit. This sucks. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Break someone down. It's deep what we do in life. Build some up break some down and then wonder why that uh kind of represents the female polarity the rise in the set <clears throat> i don't believe in being in black or white or red or yellow or purple cr all standing in the same time we all rise above and look into the arena from the perimeter it's a very real statement well <clears throat> i tried to explain uh what we're kind of dealing with is uh souls and spirits and spirits kind of associate with the dead while well, souls don't really die. So certain people on this planet kind of deal with the dead. Deal with uh, spirits. Uh, thank you for the... I'm not even sure. Someone just sent money to my cash app. Thank you. If it's for a regression, thank you for booking a regression. If it's for a donation, thank you for your give and receive. Either way, I appreciate it. I hope uh, the energy is reciprocated on your end. Someone gives you something for all that you uh, have given. Hopefully you will be received. So, um, yeah, we broke in that. We broke on that because we were like, you know, we want to put singularities to things. Like, for example, when you think of love, you kind of think of a red heart. And I'm like, so love only represents the root, only represents passion. Why can't red, I mean, why can't love represent in the other chakras? I got a yellow heart. I mean, my soul. I love my soul. I love my. I love my stomach. I love my abdomen. I love the beings in there. I love the, the dead that I absorb in there. I love it. I love my heart. It's green. Why do I gotta be red? Like this is what I'm so lost at. Like we get so stuck, but yet don't want to acknowledge singularity. But this is what the fuck we do. We put ourselves in singularities and positions. I thought it's a rainbow. No, we're gonna focus on a color: blue, purple, yellow. Okay, I thought it was a rainbow. <sighs> the Irish do not slave. No, you're right. The Irish are actually one of the very few uh, Caucasian cultures that don't really practice or believe in the concept of slavery. But like I said, Celtic mythology is a very deep thing. Nobody really knows anything to be truthful. You know what? You know what, Matt? You, you get this. And they want to separate this realm of thought. Do you know how truthful that statement is? Nobody knows anything to be truthful because truthful is in the eye of the beholder. Meaning that my truth is going to be different than your truth. My experience is going to be different than your experience. We in different fucking boxes. But we're still in a box. Are you not in Saturn's fucking matrix? 
Are you not in fucking Metatron's cube? Are you not in Enoch's fucking tyranny? I mean, grasp. You think you put yourself here? Huh. I guess. There's nothing to know except which is. So the only thing that is known is the is. And the only thing that is is, is us. In all hues, in all shapes, forms. If not, it would not exist. If not, there would not be white people, Asians, Indians, red, orange, brown, whatever fucking colors you want to call it. If that wasn't the situation, then it wouldn't exist. It wouldn't be part of the is. But it is. White people are here, whether you like it or not. Black people are here, whether you like it or not. Mexicans are fucking here, whether you like it or not. They all exist in the is. Whether you like it or not. Whether it is your truth or not. It's here. And that's kind of like a collective truth. But it's a difference between the collective truth and the egotistical truth. Meaning that I only take in my consideration, my point of view. Fuck yours. Yup, we all have so many different forms. I mean, I try to explain it. You know, the blue beings or the genies or the Hyborians, that's a deep thing. But I sit here and do regressions on, you know, angry white people or angry black people. And they both see themselves in a different state. I'd be thinking to myself, like, can you prove that you've been black every time you've been here? Can you prove that you've been white every time you came here? It's a deep thing. We're spiritual people believing that energy uh, isn't destroyed. It's, 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 it's transferred or transformed. So what the fuck thing you think you have? What? It's a deep thing, man. Keep going. Now. How many blue beings they show us? Tons. Right. Cali, Genie, Lilo, Stitch. You got it. Avatar. Um, the dude in um, that superhero movie. Watchmen. Watchmen. The doctor. He was a blue being. Blue beings are, are, are deep things. But blue beings are the beings that dwell within the sky. And then you kind of have like a... Uh, uh, close to that color here on earth wasn't quite more purplish but I ain't gonna get into that but basically your land beings were like a bluish hue and your water beings with a pinkish hue and there's like a, a, a image going around of like Storm and Black Panther in Marvel Comics they depicted them too and uh, Black Panther kind of shows like a black but is there anything really truly black? I know someone on the channel said black is the all. You're right. Black is encompassed all colors. So then black separates itself in colors. So it could be dark, dark, dark purple, which can look black. It could be dark, 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 dark blue, which can look black. Dark, dark, dark red, which could look black. I mean, it don't matter which polarity you go. The darker you put, you know, the more you separate it from light, the darker it gets. But, uh, these Atlantean or water beings kind of represented like a pinkish hue. And then you have like a bluish race, which kind of be like your Lemurians. Kind of like your uh, civilized. But yeah, no, they, I mean, I'm trying to get lost. I'm like, okay, so so if, we're, if blue beings were walking around, are they black or white? And then someone's going to say something stupid like, okay, they're black. What proof is that? <laughs> what? I'm just, so you see the movies. Who is to say that the blue race wasn't... The blue race isn't the progenerators of both the black and white people. Maybe you get black and white from the mixing of Lumerians, land beings, and amphibians or water beings. Maybe then you kind of get what we are now. I don't know. I have a salt bath right now, so yeah, I'm enjoying the day. Facts. We are the same. I sit behind you, brother. Grounded, most definitely, Thomas. Danu Arish. My main Burgati. True Blue. Hey, Q. Misery loves company. I absorb everything that you say, and it's uh, compelled. I thank you for your wisdom. If you build it, they will come. Right. So if you build hate, guess what? You're going to have a whole motherfuckers and a world of hate. And it's so unfortunate that we're still allowing ourselves to be in a world of hate. Because you tell me what world builds you up or supports you. Now, you build you up in a world of hate. But I'm telling you what world supports you in a world of hate. Where does that come from? 
Show me where that works. They're all their own heart. I use purple hearts all the time, but still singularity. Because I only use one and there's a rainbow. Trajectorial field within the heart. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The black hole is in the center of your heart. And then the black hole is kind of creating a quasar or a ring of light. And it isn't just a singular ring of light. It's several rings of lights. And this is what you call chakras. And if you really want to know the reality of what you're dealing with, you're dealing with a hole with rings of light surrounding it. You're dealing with a, a, a body of mass with matter surrounding it. And that matter is worlds, that matter is chakras, that matter is you. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. That's what you're dealing with. And then eventually you're going to get sucked back in that hole. Which doesn't really care if you're masculine or feminine, if you're black or white, if you're happy or you're sad. It doesn't give a fuck about any of those things. None of those things are rejected out of the black hole. The black hole does not say, oh, okay, you're black. Spit you back out. The black hole does not say, oh, you're a white. Let me spit you back out. It don't work like that. Where? So, I don't know. You want to consider yourself a black hole, consider yourself the black mass, but don't realize that's the absorption of all. How do you consider yourself the black mass, the black civilization, but don't want to absorb all? Shit is weird to me. It's goofy. It's confusing. But, oh well. Indeed, I'm willing to share my truths as well as those who I like in this way. Right. And in and, and, and Matt's opinion, he's not looking at it as a black or white thing. He's willing to share his truth. Now, if his truth is I'm dominant over you and you need to submit to me, that's still his truth. It doesn't mean you have to apply it. It doesn't mean you have to absorb his truth. But if his truth is I am you, wow, that's a deep statement. That's kind of a deep level of absorption, kind of connecting the pieces back together again. Yeah, y'all saying all good stuff. We all lack on the inside facts. Yep, my regression was raw for real. Thank you. Appreciate it. Rihanna, the black octopus, and Valorant. Yes, Dr. Manhattan. Yes, yes, yes. And the octopus is the only being that does not have carbon. So then you can probably get an even deeper level of what it's trying to kind of connect to. Blue mist, darkness condensed to spiritual energies. That is the construct of the all. Darkness encompasses light. Man, see, I think we get lost, man. See, this is the egotistical aspect of the mind once again. I need you to understand the three systems. You have a star, a.k.a. a planet. You have the mass, so you have matter. You have the mass that's surrounding the matter. And then you have the things creating matter. Those are called ions, or spirits. So let's just go in a, a deeper, a, a more simpler way where we can grasp this. You have a planet. You have beings that reside in the planet. You have a mass that surrounds the planet. Do they not all work in tangent? All together? Do we not look to the space? Do we not look to the stars? Do we not encompass both aspects within ourselves? Do they not view us? Is the light not reflecting the spirits that dwell within it? So therefore, the mass is kind of viewing the matter or the light? Did you know in the center of every black hole is a sea that's all white? Steep, man. Nope, in my regression, we encountered a drawing named Hatchar. Or Atar, because it uh, we live in a reverse or a reflection. So you can say it as ha, like laughing, or ah, like an idea. But the Atar, or the Atar, the ah, Taurus. But uh, dragon, yeah, we can get into that. I'm like a very old, old baby, brand new and now, but extremely ancient and old metaphysical speaking. That's definitely my truth. I am that I am, which is signifying that I am you. That's a deep thing. Every time the Bible says, I am that I am, it's so you can personally absorb that it's speaking to you. That God is saying, you are, I am a reflection of you and you are a reflection of me. Don't get trapped. Don't get lost. Am signifies rising, risen. Don't get lost in suppression. Don't get lost in weight. Don't get lost in density. 
Don't get lost in emotions. Don't get lost to things. A right hole on the other side. It's a deep thing. So, uh, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, I'm trying to think is there anything else I want to talk about. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. I'm like five people away from a thousand people, and then I could like do lives up there. YouTube changed his rules, so any of you new to YouTube, if you don't have a thousand subscribers, you can't really go live or use the full potential of that site or that uh, program or app. So I'm about five people away. Almost there. But, uh... At the end of the day, I want us as a people. And I'm not talking about black people, white people as people. Like uh, Sarah says, always look up kind of allow you to see the better aspect in things. Because let me help y'all on a very simplistic level. You guys are pulling from the south. You're pulling from cold, from abandonment of a frozen entity or energy. <clears throat> the moment you kind of uh, add a little warmth to self, a little love, a little appreciation, a little honor to self, you kind of heat up. And then you start switching the polarity, signifying the rise, like a thermostat. When it's cold, it's low. When it's hot, it rises. And that has to do with Mercury. But this kind of has to do with ancient texts. Odin, Odin kind of represents Mercury. Odin's eye is on the other side of the black hole. It won't ever be us being able to reverse time if we don't truly allow ourselves to really perceive all. You're speaking to me. You are me as we are one. Most definitely. I'm so ready to shed all attachments and walk into the garden metaphysically. So then, Thomas, you must acknowledge one's roots. <clears throat> and one's roots is based on uh, carbon, melanin. All bodies are female. So you need to kind of start learning your history and who was the great mother, the progenitor of all the uh, bodies on this planet. It ain't Lilith. <laughs> I tell you that Lilith was cursed So She basically had to uh, Use the energy of her sister To bring forward a civilization A species And we are all the descendants of that <clears throat> To me I have the feeling that all things cry out for healing Man And the more, uh, huh. the more they hate themselves, the louder the cry is. It's a deep thing. So sad. You know, consider yourself a high being, but yet to be so low. Like, people even take on the title, like, high. Like, you know, like, high priestess. <laughs> to take on the title to represent something so high, yet be so low. It's sad, 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 sad world we live in, feel me? But I ain't really worried about it. I'm out here doing everything I ever could have. I'm out here doing everything I could have ever wanted, desired. I am surviving off of me. Not anybody else, not anyone else's system, not anyone else's certificate, not anyone else's institution. <laughs> I am surviving off of me. Off of the systems, the measurements, the algorithms, the programs. I don't give a fuck what you want to call it. I did that. I programmed my own reality. And, 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 and I am 
succeeding in it. How could you bash anyone for that? I would never bash you for you creating a program for your world and you actually living it and doing it. But is the program of your world to shit on other people? That's your program? Like, that's the best that we are as a people? That's what you came... That's what you fought all the other spermicides for to get an egg so you could come here and make people feel like you? Shit is weird. (laughs) Shit is weird. And then wonder why those people reflect those same emotions. So Janelle, one of the living trees, she says, the skin in the body is a construct that is limited by consciousness and vision. We are more than that construct. We are space. We are an ocean of trees. Yet y'all just want to perceive yourself as a a black woman (laughs) or a white man. (laughs) Shit is deep, man. Shit is deep. And I just don't want you to limit yourself that much. You don't see how your life has projected forward with that way of thinking. And you don't see how my life is projecting forward with the way that I'm thinking. Like, I don't know how many of y'all been up here. I've been up here for a year and a half. Y'all probably have seen this growth. I was I was staying in a in, in a in a in a roommate situation where like I didn't even go out my room. I didn't even use my kitchen. Like, I come from struggle, and y'all literally see the growth through these videos. I got a fucked up front tooth. I mean, god damn. Like, guys, what? And you think that I've survived this oppression with hating everyone? Like, where does that work? Like, where did hating people get you anywhere at? I'm trying to figure it out. And I don't give a fuck if you're saying they hate you. Good, let them hate you. But does that mean you gotta hate them? I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, how does it balance out? It's like, I really want so much better for people, but people don't realize their reality is only based on their consciousness. So I guess you only perceive yourself as a black woman or a white man. Guess you would never look outside of you. Man, that's a good point, Matt. If the sky is the limit, then why do we see the stars? That's a real deep thing. That's a powerful thing right there. That's a very powerful statement. Because the stars are us, people. It's a very deep thing. When you look up in them stars, you're looking at yourself. As above, so below. You're aligning yourself up with a star. And you're kind of being influenced by the uh, emotions and expressions of that star. Because that star kind of wander is wandering through space. But you're also kind of affecting that star. You're kind of choosing the trajectory of that star. Through your emotions. Through your waves. Your waves go beyond you. Thomas said, but I do understand the statement you made yesterday about embracing your dark side. Because I understand we must find the center. And the deep thing about the center is uh, once you go into darkness, the center is all around you. Very deep thing. But once again, once you dwell in one's own darkness, the center is all around you. Sophia. A lot of people know about that Sophia deity. It's interesting. I know about Dear (laughs) So-So. Dear Soho. Channeling Welsh Ancestors. Oh shit, my bad. All right, y'all fucking me up. And I'm driving for traffic, so let me... Let me not go overboard and crash. (laughs) Okay, goddess type of shit, ancestors. I just really want y'all to grasp that this is a... These are two matrices that both are fake as fuck. You are in the goddess matrix, which is the astral, which is not real because she's sleeping. And you're in a physical matrix, which is not real, because it's just the uh, characters are inside of the astro. Like, grasp. Y'all not male or female. <laughs> Y'all are fucking all. <laughs> you are all. <laughs> Stop putting yourself in a pocket. You represent electricity and magnetism. That's why you're an electromagnetic being. I'm so lost. I'm like... To invoke the goddess is to invoke that which you come from, which is a dream. 
Don't y'all all come out of dreams every morning? It's a deep thing. Because in a dream, you don't control things through logic. So when you enter the body of the goddess, it's not really a logical thing. You're not really trying to subdue the body every goddamn moment with a logical thought. You just be. Kind of like that sperm inside of an egg. You just be. Jump through DNA. They are with you. Yeah, and the only way you're going to jump through the DNA is by jumping through the different experiences of you. And if you're going to single yourself to a certain culture or people, I guess you're going to single yourself to a certain type of experience. It's pretty unfortunate. I wouldn't really want to be capped like that. Don't chant on. Um, chant on oh my. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Dogon Carter Aman Amen. Yeah, it's the it's the Amen. It's the, the little seed that connects to the black heart. Or the black hole. Because like I said, at the center of every black hole is a seed. Facts. Your highness. <laughs> they on drugs. It's about being humble. Fuck, yes, bro. 100%. Co-creator. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. Right. High five. Preach. No limits. Been there. Fuck no. Right. I feel that shit. I got two teeth missing. Pulled the last one myself. It's a deep thing. We have the maps of the stars within. Yeah, and that's proof. That's why a lot of you uh, have certain like little moles, certain little body marks that kind of like create star systems or, or points on the body. Sometimes the stomach, sometimes the back, sometimes the arms. And this is kind of showing you a way to get back to you. But we're all kind of trying to get to the Polaris or the North Star. Center around you because you the Bendu Dot. Known as the Black Dot. So if you want to kind of think of it like this. You have a little, 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 little seed. Like a little grain. In the center of a black hole. It's kind of like a door. And this is... You go through the seed to enter the other side. But it's why you have two trees. There's a little seed, it's a little, it's a little, uh, a little grain. A little white grain in the middle of a black hole. And then you get the black hole. Then you get something called a quasar, which is like a ring of light around you. And that's like your chakras. All the different colors of the rainbow. And the colors of the rainbow are affecting or reflecting that little grain inside of you. Just like your body is affecting or, or projecting the little grain that's inside of you. The little pineal gland. Nah, I'm good. I mean, what happened was someone hit their brakes too quick at the same time I was trying to read something. But I kind of uh, put myself at a good enough distance. If anyone was to hit their brakes quick enough, I could, I could rebound. But I'm, I'm about to be home. But appreciate all the love and support to make sure I get home safe. That's how you build somebody up. Instead of yelling at them like, King, stop fucking driving. Pay attention. I'd be like, God, this, why you got to talk to me like that? <laughs> God damn. We can't figure out a better way of addressing the problem. It's interesting. On the gray scale, the middle between black and white literally is called the middle gray. Fifty shades of that gray. You always pop dead in the middle of your dreams. Notice there's never a start like us. Or a finish. Now, uh, a finish in life would be death. So this is why you can't die in your dreams. But you're not born in your dreams neither. It's a deep thing. You kind of just is. You kind of just be. I feel this. Just be. In here and now. Be in here and now. Be in the here. Be in the not. Nah. Which is really what now is. It's the not. And the not is the I. So being the being the frequency that sparks ideas, that sparks orgasms, that sparks creation. Cause thoughts fuel creation. Children fuel creation. So kind of being the uh 
being the here and the eyes. So kind of being the sound in the mouth of you. If you can really master not allowing what you hear to change the geometry of you and to master how everything you project is an idea is a sound that comes from within, you kind of will grow a little more. You will kind of become this uh, meta being we're all out here trying to discover. Because we know it's us. We know that this is not it. That there's something a little bit deeper than just this. But yet we won't change the way we think. It's, it's weird. Step through your own shadow. That's the portal to the true self. Yes, indeed. This is why uh, Peter Pan was always trying to capture his shadow. Wake up from Never Never Land. The center of the black hole is the quantum leap. They are in the constellation that describes your view like a map on the canvas. Wow, never thought of it like that. But I used to connect my beauty marks all the time, LOL. Yes, the most definitely star systems. Matt had what? Much love, brother. Do you need hearing now? Remember, I'm there with you. Nah, I'm great, bro. The roots are the trees. Simply that tree's dark half. Their life depends on dark till they grow out of the soil. Yes, it is the roots. It is the dead. It is the dark half that kind of springs forward their life. Because when winter comes and they lose all their nourishments and all their leaves, they don't really lose it internally or under. Those roots kind of still got them. The dead still got them. I don't really fuck with cops, bro. <laughs> it's just me and cops don't get along. No, I'm trying to say much love, brother. Being here and now, don't worry about what if people say about your driving, definitely. That's where I'm at with this, bro. Most definitely. Right. I used to talk, text. I talk into my phone and it's hard because there's other noises and it uh, misinterprets my words. Well, yeah. Uh, I said in a, the video with a shearer, I said, uh, people don't really realize that spirits are talking all the time. You just don't hear them because there's constant distractions all around you. Everything makes noise. This fucking truck next to me, loud as fuck. I mean, everything literally makes noise to the point where you're not even in silence. Now, this is deep. Everything makes noise. Even if you're in one silence, then you kind of start hearing one's own heartbeat, which once again is still sound. So, uh... It's, it's a deep thing. I'm not even gonna get it now. I'm trying to really get through these comments so I can end it because remember I was live for like three hours before and I'm <laughs> my whole day consisted of me talking on this goddamn platform <laughs> we are walking stars yes indeed so uh if you take uh the a out of walk you get w l k and we know that they kind of convert these things. So the W can be an M. So then you kind of get MLK. And that would be something you would consider like a walking star. Something that was kind of like uh, trying to connect with its mass. The system outside of him. You can call that white folks. I don't give a fuck how you project it. <laughs> it's a star that's trying to acknowledge where it comes from. Not, well, not where it comes from, what it connects to. I don't want to say what it comes from. That's, that's misguided. That's wrong. What it connects to. So. <sighs> what happened? Please, please, wait, what? Please break this down, brother. It's probably talking to you, Matt. Oh, the shadow. The shadow has to do with artificial intelligence. That would take too long. But, uh, like I said, this, uh, Enoch in his book, according to Shira, because I, I learned things from the life. I never read the book of Enoch. But she said, according to the book of Enoch, Enoch saw a world of gears, a world of metal. And that kind of connects to uh, where humans come from or where organic energy comes from. 
three states electric magnetic organic process organic is the third state so you kind of get a system of electricity and magnetism system of machines and you kind of deal with that in the shadows but uh i don't really think certain races or certain cultures are really ready to grasp that uh the true enemy isn't black or white it ain't even a human <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hello, I'm very happy I clicked on this. Me too, bro. Side note, why do we say bless you when someone sneezes? Because your heart stops. So, uh, you're creating, you're putting a, a blue, uh, you're putting blue. Bless blue. Blue us. And change the E to a U. Blue us. To send the blue frequency into the is. But uh, in the is is the heart. So you're kind of sending, if you look at a blue flame, what the blue flame, a blue energy, even the sky kind of represents cleansing and purifying. So something made your heart stop. Something made you sneeze. So you're kind of blessing that energy, putting a blue essence to it, a cleansing purity thing to it. There's a constant synapsis that's occurring all day, all the time. Definitely. You call those degrees. We need to be paying this man. <laughs> It comes in time. Anyone that want to give and receive, I appreciate any donations. Like I said, this is what I do in life now. I don't do anything else. I do Uber when I can, but lately I haven't even been doing that. But uh, my cash app will be included in this video when I end this. And even a dollar counts. You got to understand it ain't about your money. It's about the energy you bring them forward. If you're donating, that's an idea. That's a construct. And the more that build on that idea and that construct, the more that will kind of build on supporting people through the ideas of giving and receiving. <clears throat> Shadows are part of consciousness, I think basically between the ego and super ego. The shadow is the veil between the physical self and the chakras. So it's kind of like the... Uh, The veil. You got two kind of veils. You got black veils and white veils. One trying to keep something in and the other trying to absorb everything. One kind of dealing with consumption and the other kind of dealing with uh, reflection or giving out or sacrifice or donating. Like sperm. That's why it's white. You give it out. <clears throat> Is this why they say a woman has an orgasm after three times sneezing? I've never heard that before. I want to look into that. It's a deep thing. Donations are without debt. And donations are without taxes. It's a deep thing. It's beautiful. How, uh... The ancestors have set you up as a church, as a faith-based nonprofit. And as a faith-based nonprofit, you don't pay taxes. But I don't think we perceive that that could be a whole system that we could produce and create. We're our own church. We're our own institute. Egos hide the true self from reality facts when we blink when we sneeze so our eyes don't pop out that's a very real thing <clears throat> i say this because our dna is following light being shined by us yes indeed so your dna is activating based on once again the level of consciousness you perceive because light is shown to you you can look at a cross that's light showing you a symbol and you're gonna be like oh, okay that's a cross but if i look at it i'm like oh that's a compass <laughs> but if a mathematician looks at it, he's like, oh, that's a plus sign. Now, if you like me, I'm kind of a mathematician. I'm a motherfucking religious being. I'm a motherfucking, I'm all those things. So when I see a cross, I kind of see a compass. I see a plus sign and I see a cross. I kind of see it all as one. It signifies directions. Are you going in a positive direction? It's directions. 
<clears throat> my uh, three-year-old cousin calls his shadow a dark cloud. It's a deep thing. The clouds have matter in them. Sound produces matter. So a light cloud kind of just signifies a certain frequency. A dark cloud is no different. Kind of just symbolizing a certain frequency. Conception, birth, organ, organ, origin, my bad. True light, the seed. We spiral back to the beginning. Which is the seed? Which is the shell? Which is, I'll be trying to show y'all the whole Franklin turtle connection. <clears throat> Are you hip to the concept of uh, R so far, R or whatever? Anything that's AU is connected to uh, gold, which is most likely connected to the Anunnaki's because they were obsessed with gold. So uh, you know, that kind of goes to the Anunnaki order. And then you have something that's different than the reptilians or the Anunnaki's. Those are called yetis or mammalians. So yeah, I'm kind of connected or associated to both. I've had dominion or rule or uh, positions on both space times. A uh, uh, Anunnaki construct and a Sashuian or Sasha or Sashua uh, construct. Yeti, Bigfoot, you know, the monkey shit. <sighs> we may house to perceive anything in any light we wish. This is the beauty of light. See, I think we're, we're, we're not realizing that black and white are together. They're in one whole. You're perceiving the rings. That is your perception of life right now. And then the moon and the sun is kind of learning from this. Through your seven chakras. One system of the moon. One system of the sun. Governing your seven chakras. That's how you get nine. Nine chakras. Each chakra is a dimension. The sun is a dimension. The moon is a dimension. Fucking Mars is a dimension. <clears throat> right, my brother. Just keep saying that yesterday. I'm, 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 dude, be cool. R I Jin or Jin. Which is origin. I got you, bro. I see you, Matt. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> An Sof R deals with the tree of life. Yeah, once again, those are the Anunnaki's, once again, those are the reptilians, once again, that kind of deals with the tree of life. And then you got a tree of knowledge, which is more of a mammalian thing, which is more of a, uh, instinctive thing and unfortunately we separated our trees it's called soil because the tree is called roots that's the tree but you don't look at it or care about it so that's the tree of knowledge the roots we don't really care right? we only care about knowledge when it sprouts up <laughs> when it gives us the apples or the seeds then we care about knowledge not even processing what created that apple how the apple even came in existence in the first place. Ka means spirit, bro. C means body or soul. It means spirit, body, or spirit, soul. Kasi, Casey. Now, Casey was one of the characters on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where Casey wore a mask. Casey would be no different than Ja's son. Same thing. The son of Ja. Or the Ka. And uh, it's kind of there to realize its connection to the mammal, which is the rat. And the turtle, which is the amphibian. Or reptile care how you look at it and it would be wise for you to kind of be a, a Casey 
kind of uh, defending and union and, and being in union with these older primordial beings, Numos, Lulus, Ka Ba. You got it. Ka meaning spirit, Ba meaning body or soul. Remember, the spirit goes in the body. La meaning, you know, Alelu, or the a deity that uh the the body soul is made up of. La or Allah or Alalu. And the Kabbalah is kind of the body soul of this being. Almost home. So I'm gonna be ending this soon. Yes, the shadow represents the true avatar of yourself. The primordial titans. The beings that created the gods. That which the gods come from. Gods have been given their roles. Their roles come from that which they absorbed. Which would be titan or titanium. Which once again is metal. Which once again deals with uh, something a little older than us. Man, I'm so ready to smoke. It's been a long day. And I smoke smoke. So. Remember, a C is also a wave though. So don't get lost. Understand, Understand the spirit moves in waves. Like a serpent. So the Ka C kind of connects to a... Uh, Serpent information, serpent knowledge, dragon shit, Loch Ness shit. But I'm about to end this. Let me just go through the last few of these. Avatar is a guide. 9D. Yes, indeed. This is why we're in the 9Ds right now with the culture, with the things we wear, with them bringing back Full House and Fresh Prince of Bel Air is coming out with a movie and they're bringing the 9Ds uh, back. Or 9D. Because some of y'all are going to get lost to this 6G. Hmm. Actually kind of like a supernatural when uh, Castiel met that thing that God and his came from. I'm not sure what that means. Turtle is a Mayan calendar. 13 large squares in the middle. Yeah, it's a CERN. The Mayan calendar is a direct depic depiction of CERN. It's a deep thing. How to access the Higgs boson or uh, a certain sound that's both masculine and feminine. Michael Jackson did that shit all the time. <clears throat> yeah, enjoy me to respect. Much love to you, brother. You and you and you. Uh, I spoke to that avatar as a child in a dream. You can speak to it now if you truly allow yourself not to be frightened by one's own shadow. And also realize that one shadow uh, is not going to... Uh, be caught through aggression. That's what Peter Pan was trying to show you. That one shadow is not going to be done through anger, through violence. That is not the polarity that you're going to be able to capture yourself in. Once again, this is you, people. Sometimes you don't want to be captured in aggression or violence. Oh, his sister. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to what you said. Actually, uh, kind of like Supernatural when Castiel met that thing that God and his sister came from. Yeah, check out a couple of my videos on YouTube. I speak on a lot of things. I put together a lot of connections and dots. But uh, kind of goes with the story of a source creator and prime creator. And how those two things separated from self. Man, I was so scared. I was like, dude, I am not scared of you. What's good? Yeah. The movie Us was trying to show y'all that your, uh, your other you is coming back stronger and harder than you can ever imagine. And if you're a balanced you, kind of like 
pull on both polarities. I'm a positive being, but I'll fuck you up if you disrespect me. But I'll do it in the most positive way possible. It's kind of like uh, which way you can kind of compose self without separating self to two polarities. I'm not really one to do that because when these polarities merge into one, I don't really want to face myself and not be ready. I kind of act like I uh, am the shit all day. I'm going to kind of read a, meet a version of myself that kind of pushes shit on people all day. It's a deep thing. So it would be wise to kind of look in one's mirror as of late and truly see how it makes you feel. I appreciate you all, uh, you all and on this note, I'm about to leave.